Welcome back to another episode. This week, we arrive in Missoula, Rajarampa, and get an unexpected welcome. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. We arrived after an overnight sail just outside Masu. Dad and I got Dory ready, woke up Mum and I took Mum for a swim at a little beach. Beautiful, and we now have arrived in Rajarampa. is a bow and stern tie-up, which means those big ropes that we bought in Ambon, we tie onto our boat and around some rocks instead of dropping our anchor. It's super protected in here from any bad weather, so tying up is our best option. For this anchorage, we bow and stern tied Nalakai and then tied Katalpa right alongside. In the middle of tying up to Nalakai, we had some visitors. Hello! Hello! And it wasn't the usual welcome we get when we arrive places. <laughs> huh? These guys were after petrol, or benzene as they call it here in Indonesia. Oh, no, did I? Huh? Why? Berangkat! Berangkat! Lepas tadi dah berangkat. Ini. Kalau tidak kasih begini, Satu tau, begini, ini, macam begini, begini, satu. Kalau tidak kasih, buka tadi, buka, buka, satu. It's pretty normal for people to ask for things, but they boarded our boat without permission. They thought that the jerry cans on the deck were petrol, but they're actually diesel. One of the guys hopped on the boat and came to the front of the boat and was telling mum that unless we gave them one of the jugs, he was going to cut our lines. He was a little bit aggressive and we did not get any good vibes from them. Dari Ambon. Oh, dari Ambon. 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 Ini ini wilayah Raja Ampat. Ini wilayah Raja Ampat. Yo ini Raja Ampat. Bensin, bensin, ada bensin, bensin. Solo. Solo. 
Until they knew that it was diesel and then they decided to leave. We gave them a pack of cigarettes and some water and they were not too happy about that. Ungrateful. Stay going, they thought it was they thought it was sensitive. Daddy Mana. Daddy Mana, Ruma. Uh-huh. Okay. Kampung, di situ kampung sebelah. Okay. Ada kampung. Ya. Mere apa, mere apa? They just wanted petrol. As soon as they knew it was diesel. Jumping straight on, I'm like, oh, it's not in. It was fine. It didn't end up as the worst case scenario, but we didn't really feel comfortable, so we thought we'd only stay a day or two. What you are seeing is Masul, the largest and most southern island of the four major islands in the Rajarampat archipelago. Rajarampat consists of a group of islands situated off the northwest end of West Papua. One of the first things we noticed when we arrived was the abundance of mangroves and tall limestone cliffs. The islands are surrounded by clear turquoise water that contains the highest level of marine biodiversity in the world. What you might not know about Rajarampat is they have a not so friendly reptile that you may have heard about. It lives in Australia. Can you guess what it is? Pause the video and type what you think it is. Well, if you guess crocodile, you'd be right. In saying that, crocodiles are insanely smart and will stalk you and wait till you're at your most vulnerable and then come in for the attack. So we were extra cautious when we were diving and swimming here. Just before we move on, click that notification bell and stay tuned. And make sure if you're enjoying this episode, give it a like because in the not so distant future, we're going to get to see a crocodile that has the potential to take one of our lives. But not today, even though it looks like there may be a croc or two in here. And we're running in with the tide We're alive And we're running in with the tide Sorry, Mum and Ali, there's a tree. Miscalculated that one. Let's try again. many beaches here, mostly rocky cliffs, but the beaches we found were cute little places to swim and walk around. Whispers in the morning, whispers wakes me up, I can hear your words today, whispers that you might. Me die. 
school. It's only 15 nautical miles away, so it's about 11, I think. And well, we should be there in a, maybe three hours. Lee's gonna jump in the dinghy and help with all the lines, get Nalakai out of the spider web, and I'm yep. gonna sit in Katalpa out here and just uh, stay out of the way. Whoops, need some shoes because the rocks are pretty damn sharp. Lee and all the kids are untying all the lines off the rocks. And now we can all leave and head to our next anchorage. It's quicker to untie than it was to tie up. So I think Tara's coming sailing with us. The kids are gonna go in the dinghy and go and explore for a little bit and then catch up. So, Matt's on his own over there. Welcome aboard my ship. Oh. The kids are off having one final explore of here while we slowly make our way 15 nautical miles to the next stop in the Sul. Yep. Three hours later, we arrive at the next spot where we will do the same tie up to the rocks and side tie. Here we come! To me, darling. You know I keep getting up. Okay. Are you throwing a line, Tosh? No. Yeah, the blue line, mate. Blue bird. It's really nice. There, we went into a cave, Mum. Yeah. And it opens up and we put the tender in there. Really? And it opens up into a little beach. Oh. That was a little taste of the beautiful remote Raj Rampa. Join us next week as we explore more of Masul and one of our favourite anchorages. Thanks for watching another episode. I think that was a pretty good episode, wasn't it? I think it was. Yep. So if you liked it, like, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go.